Billboard's Women in Music 2024 is honoring some major stars. Carol G makes her acting debut alongside Sofia Vergara. Tina Knoll says sorry, Kelly Rowland's starring role in a super nostalgic festival lineup. And we learn five things about Don Omar. Happy Hump Day, I'm Tetris Kelly. It's Wednesday, January 24th, and we're kicking off this episode of Billboard News with an exciting announcement. Women in Music is around the corner. And I'm so excited to let you know some of this year's superstar honorees. Billboard's Women in Music is back. Tonight, we honor the women who have been leading the way. Wednesday, March 6th at the YouTube Theater in Los Angeles. Wanted to take a moment to say what an amazing, inspiring night this has been. This is absolutely insane. I feel so honored and blessed to be here. Thank you, Billboard. Honoring Charlie XCX, Ice Spice, Kylie Minogue, Louisa Sonza, Marin Morris, New Jeans, Thames, Victoria Monet, and Young Miko. And soon to be announced, Billboard's Woman of the Year with host Tracy Ellis Ross. And it's about to be an epic night. Come celebrate the start of Women's History Month with us. General tickets on sale January 27th, with Amex card members getting early access on January 24th. This is me, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Billboard. This is a huge honor. Thank you so, so much. I want to first thank Billboard from the bottom of my heart. Go to BillboardWomenInMusic.com for all the details. Thank you. We love you. I can't wait for Women in Music, and I can't wait to find out who gets the honor of Woman of the Year. But now, let's get into three more things that you need to know. Legends respect legends, and Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, is making sure you know she did not shade Janet Jackson. After she liked a post about Janet's ticket prices, with the caption saying her production doesn't match Beyonce's, Miss Tina is clearing the air. First of all, being on the other side of that, I know better than anyone what a great production cost and that it's expensive. And I would never criticize another art artist, let alone Janet Jackson, who is the queen of production. Guys, let's be real. We know Miss Tina was not paying that post close attention. She probably was like, yes, Janet, charge them regulars. But also, speaking of Miss Jackson, <laughs> Lovers and Friends may be my favorite festival every year, and this year the Usher Back Vegas Fest has announced its lineup, and of course, Usher will be performing his Confessions album, and we get Backstreet Boys, Janet Jackson, and more. Me personally, I'm so excited that Lil Wayne is performing the Carter 3. We get a Kelly Rowland solo set, and my boy Jason Derulo, he barely ever performs in the state. And keeping a theme of black queens, Kelly Rowland is also starring in a new Netflix movie called Mia Culpa, and the trailer just dropped. Why would she record this? I don't know, Mia. DNA found in one of your paintings. It's enough to bury your ass. Kelly Rowland as a criminal defense attorney in a thriller? Sign me the blank up. I know somebody's got a Netflix password lying around for me. I know that you have an eye for details, so don't leave anything out. Time to get into one of the most buzzed about new Netflix series, Griselda. Sofia Vergara stars as the titular drug lord, and Carol G makes her acting debut in the show. All that I have been through, I'm not gonna give it away for nothing. I mean, everything was challenging for me, mainly the first, like, I, I wanna say, like, the first month because I was oh. starting you know, trying new things. I was never, you know, uh, had never really acted in Spanish or a drama or with prosthetics. The three hours of hair and makeup were exhausting. Like I would finish my hair and makeup and I already wanted to go home, but it was, my day was only starting. So it was a lot of different things. I have to like wrap my body so it didn't look like me. It was, <laughs> so it was all nice that we were shooting. So that makes everything, everything more difficult. We were far away from my house, so I couldn't sleep any of those nights really in my house in LA. We were sleeping somewhere else, like in a small, tiny, not any very nice hotel. So it was difficult, and the mood where that Griselda was in was yeah. very exhausting for me. She was doing screaming, killing, you know, crying. It was a lot. At Billboard, we've been following up with Carol G's acting debut yeah. in Griselda. How was it filming with her and working with her? Great. I mean, she showed up and 
worked hard alongside the other actors. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we had, I had put, we put Bad Bunny in Narcos, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that was a great experience as well, but more often than not, when someone who's a superstar in one world comes into a world where, you know, they're, they, she's, you know, just an actress, really, uh, you never know what you're gonna get. She was great, and, and her character is great, and she's a Pisa, you know, she's from Medellin, so she's got, you know, she, it, it, was a, it was a thrill to have her, um, a joy. It was just wonderful working with her. Everybody, when she came to set, everybody was happy and very professional. So and, humble, and, uh, she's yeah, so humble no, too. It, it was fantastic. We, we, I wish it, there was more, you know, of Carol too, G in the, in the show. Too. It's just a taste. And, but uh, it's a taste. It's That's just a little taste, uh -huh. you know, we want you to have a little bit more, mm -hmm. one more. <laughs> For the full interviews, head to billboard.com. Hi everybody, this is Don Omar, and these are five things you didn't know about me. Number one. I'm afraid of frogs. Can deal with it. Number two, I wake up every single day at 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Number three, I wake up every morning to stay on top of three different companies that goes from agriculture to product distribution. Number four, there's people dying to mad their favorite artist or their favorite skater. I'm dying to mad Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer. Number five, while everybody might thought or think that I do have a driver and a special security service, I drove my car and I go by myself everywhere. And these were five things you didn't know about Dunamar. Thanks for watching. That's today's show. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see who's on top of the TikTok charts and Julia Michaels takes us behind the photo. I'm Tetris Kelly and this is Billboard News.